stopping off at Princess Auto to pick up some tools. So I can pull that thing off at the wreckers. Now it's time to get a start in the CV joint now. Now that I've got the new part. $20 from the auto wreckers. There was two different kinds. So hopefully I got the right one because I didn't take this one off yet. Nice and gooey in there. Gotta turn this piece of shit around. Got a nice CD player I installed. Cars all in the garage. Gonna get some tunage. And get to work. There. They're already loose because I was trying to get this off the other day and realized I didn't have the right tools. And that's also why the rim or the hub cap isn't on. Didn't even get the wheel off and look how dirty my hands are. I guess now I know the definition of a grease monkey. Now take your three quarter inch socket, shove it on there. Find a lot faster than those damn tire irons, they take forever. Now here's where shit really happens. For the sun fires, the axle nut is 29 millimeters. So grab one of those and a long breaker bar. Let's see if we can get that thing loose. Let's give her a good crank now. And she's loose. That wasn't too hard. Upper ball joint's loose, I'm just gonna whack it. Make sure you have a bolt on it so you don't strip the threads when, you, when you're whacking it with something. He's doing something. There you go. Just gotta do that bolt and pop it through. Done. Turn your wheel manually because you disconnected your tie rod and gain access to your lower ball joint. Also remove your ABS thing so you don't strip or uh, break the connector off like this one was broken off already previously. You know, just in case it's good on your car still. You don't want to wreck that. So apply some penetrating oil and pull her off. There. Well, I got the lower ball joint nut off. Now all I have to do is just pry it loose, but I can already see that that ball joint's already bad. The rubber bushing on it is totally obliterated. So I'm probably just gonna end up replacing that ball joint anyway, so I don't have to bother saving it like I did with the upper ball joint. If you don't have a regular uh, ball joint splitter, you know those ones that like little pitchforks and it goes in between and pushes up. I just like to use a regular wrench and throw it in there, especially if you're going to be replacing the ball joint. Then uh, all you got to do is rip all that that uh, rubber covering on it, shove it in there, and step on it. Oops. Slipped off. Well, after a lot of prying and breaking my freaking knuckles and whatever the hell you want to call it, I ended up having to use my largest wrench, my one inch, to go in here. And I literally had to jump on this just to freaking separate it. Never had one this stiff before. Because this one is kind of rusty. Not anymore because I had WD-40 on it. But So anyways, jumped it. Stupid thing came. 
pulled the axle out, or it actually just popped out. I didn't pull it out. As you can see, it's a total mess now. So now I gotta do is whack this thing out and change it. Just gotta whack the hell out of that thing now. Let it pop out. Finally moving. I had to uh, turned out that the axle was hitting something at the end and I couldn't knock it through. That's why I didn't go through the first time. Time to take this bolt off now. Then we should be able to pull it through and just throw in the new one. And she won't go no more. Maybe it's time to pull her out now. Okay. Let's see if she'll come out. Oh man, I got grease on the brake rotors. That is not good. Oh. Come on. This is like a two person job. I need one person holding the freaking thing. My helper isn't here today. Cody's at his friend's house. I gotta do all this stuff by myself. Come on. Uh, you know, working on an empty stomach sure doesn't get you any farther faster. Can't think properly. Come on. It's almost out. Piece of shit. Oh. Let's do a little minor adjustment up here. Okay, here we go. She'll come now. Oh, sitting right in the hole there. If I can go forward, like. There we go. She's out. Oh. Uh-oh, now we're caught on the CV joint rubber. And there we go. Holy shit. I don't even want to touch the camera now. Ho oh. ho! Wow! Now that's catastrophic failure. Here's the other bearing or whatever the hell you want to call it. She belongs right on there. So here's the old axle. Here's the old one. Here's the new one. Let's do the matchup. And, uh-oh, they're a different size. That's not good. Shit, now what do I do? Now this whole project's gonna be on hold now because I got the wrong frickin' axle. Shit. I was looking forward to throwing it all back together today and going for a first test drive with a new axle, but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. You know, they did look a little different before I tore it off. I tried to compare them. I was pretty sure that that axle was a little bit different, but I thought that uh, maybe they had stretched the seal on the boot a little more farther over on this one, but no, that's not the problem. Shit. Well, you know what? Maybe I can just switch the end here and throw it back together. You know, they take the, take the joint off, throw it on this one, and then put it back together. That might work. Maybe I'll try that. 